Hello friend, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. We're going to get a little personal if that's okay. Now let me ask you a personal question. When do you experience the most temptation in your life? Is it when you are out in public with your family or is it when you are alone? See, if you struggle with the temptation to fight or gossip, then you struggle the most uh, publicly when you're in a public setting. If you struggle with the temptation to be selfish, then you probably struggle the most when you're with your family. And if you struggle with the temptation to watch pornography, then you probably wrestle with that temptation when you are alone. The Apostle John wrote about temptation, the cravings that even followers of Jesus experience to sin. In 1 John 2, 15 and 16, John writes this, Do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. Now, John is not discouraging followers of Jesus from loving the people of the world, family, or strangers. We know that because of his emphasis on loving others throughout his ministry and in this letter. The world that John refers to is the community of humanity that possesses a spirit of rebellion against God. John is discouraging followers followers of Jesus from craving the emptiness that the world offers. Followers of Jesus can get caught up by the wrong stuff. If your focus is a craving for physical pleasure, please remember that, that God did create pleasure and beauty. He even created sex as a gift to be enjoyed within marriage. But a desire for physical pleasure and pride in our achievements and possessions can grow out of control if we let it. So remember today, John writes, those things are not from our Heavenly Father. Those things come from a world that is in open rebellion against God and the evil one who hates your guts. So do practice discipline. When tempted, tell yourself no. That's called denying yourself. And and that is what followers of Jesus do. God has placed somebody in your life you can be accountable to. Ask God to show you who it is. As followers of Jesus, we are called to reflect God's character. And the character of God looks like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. So... During this COVID season, maybe you've struggled under a heavier, uh, heavier temptation uh, during our time of social distancing. So here's, let me encourage you to do this. Rise up, shake the dust off of your faith and recommit to following Jesus. Thanks for joining us today. If the word for the day continues to bless you, like it, share it and leave us a comment. God bless.